once again we are back with an, with part three of a tutorial of how to colour grey full buster from fairy tale. Right. First the first video I did we coloured the skin and the area. Then the second part two we coloured the eyes, eyebrows and the hair. And today we are going to probably be covering the scarf. I'm probably going to need to move this drawing down. The scarf and the hands. It might it might be two separate videos, but it most likely won't. If it is, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's just get started. What we're probably going to need is a grey pencil like this. Probably about this colour, I must show you the shade of it here. Kind of like that. That kind of shade, if not, I'm sorry. Um, what you're going to want to do is just go over the whole scarf area. Don't go in the thing or whatever you do. Okay? Just make sure you colour the whole area. What I might do, actually, after I've done this video, Maybe tomorrow or something, I might um, post a video of how to do the actual line art, so that way you can colour it in. Oh, so I probably should have done that one first. But anyway, um, let's get to colouring. So basically, with the pencils, what you're going to want to do is just colour the scarf like um, this. Just make sure you get most of it coloured. I'm just going to go check something quickly. Okay, well... Before you do that, okay, yeah, before you do that, actually, get the non-inky pen, this one that we use to colour the hair, um, and use it just to outline the scarf. Don't outline the hand. Well, yeah, anyway. Just make sure you outline the um, scarf like this just like this like that and then yeah just do this probably make it neater than what I'm doing because I'm probably just gonna get rid of this drawing after I'm done with it or give it to my stepsister or something oh yeah speaking of my stepsister stepsister step sister you get proper pronunciation um she may or may not be coming into the room you should, i know that she's definitely coming around to my house tonight i just have no idea whether she'll um be in this room coming to the room while we while we're obviously doing the drawing so um i apologize if she does Anyway, let's carry on. I shouldn't be um, stressing you out with my little um, miniature struggles. Anyway, as I was saying, once you've outlined it, you just want to get your grey pencil like this and just start shading in all the scarf like this. Try and make it so it kind of bends where the scarf was because I don't. It might, may or may not, adjust that bit of light. I don't know real necessity to it um yeah so you just want to colour this all in um I'm probably just gonna pause the video and colour it all in like these little scarfy bits but just colour it all in grey then show you what to do next um obviously it won't just be all coloured in grey we'll have like little textures to it but obviously I'm gonna show that in the um video so I'm just gonna pause this and then, for me, it would probably be like, I don't know, 15 minutes just colouring all of this in grey. But for you, in the video, probably maybe that, like, millisecond. Oh, the paper's going everywhere. Um, I'll see you in a second. Um, as you can see, I have obviously coloured in the scarf. And now I'm going, what we're going to do next is... I'm just making the decision whether to use the inky pen or 
the um, Dudley pen. Hmm, right. You can choose. I'm going to try and use this pen. If it don't, it might not work that well, so I might end up using the inky pen anyway. So obviously you want to get your pen. What we're going to do, you might have already guessed this, but we're going to um, create a kind of like texture. We're just going to do little lines. This just to let you know, this will actually take forever. Um, what it did for me, you might just, you might all be aspiring artists and just be absolutely bloody, I don't know, Usain Bolt speed at colouring in and um, doing texture. But me, however, I am an old, well not old person, I'm actually young, but I'm, it's like I have an old hand and it's dying slowly so i basically can't do anything that fast <laughs> um yeah so we obviously as i just mentioned we are going to color what happened to the video Things fell off you might not have actually been videoing that but we're gonna use the pen kind of create a texture like that and obviously I'm not going to video all that, otherwise the video will last like, I don't know, like 30 minutes, well not 30 minutes, this will probably take like 10 minutes doing all of that, the colouring actually took like 5 minutes, but anyway, I'll see you in a mi minute. Um, I just thought I'd mention, before I start colouring, obviously not colouring, but doing the texture, just want to explain how I did it. Basically, what you're gonna want to do is obviously get your pen and just do little flecks, kind of like that. It's kind of just drawing like millions of little lanes everywhere. So just want to explain that. Um, yeah, see you in a minute. And we are back. <laughs> I said we are back, but for you it's only been one sec, about one second. Anyway, um, as you can see, I've done that texture for the whole scarf so it kind of gives it that woolly effect if you know what i'm going on about and um now i'm going to show you how to color the hand but this bit down here this isn't really part of a tutorial because you're basically just well coloring the dark bits so we're going to use the same kind of technique that we used for coloring the skin on the face it might not look as good, but, eh, <laughs> that's what I say. Um, yes, yeah, so we're using the darker peach again. And we're going to just go in circular motions around the areas that are um, always going to be darker. So around that bit, we're going to have a bit around here. So mostly around the um, these bits here like behind where the knuckle and the other finger are you just want it around that area um don't know what happened with this finger it's a bit dead anyway <laughs> yeah so you're going to go in circular motions around those areas and uh yeah down here as well oh don't like that it's a bit yellowish oh that's disgusting <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get the um, orange, just go over it, once again make it look lively and alive and not dead, if you know what I mean, you know, you don't want your drawing looking dead and soulless and bad <laughs> and dead and bad and disgusting and all negative verbs. <laughs> um, anyway, aside from me, being an utter retard we're just gonna obviously go over in the maroony bits and the even darkish even darker uh, areas this, uh, this is actually looking <laughs> starting to be quite pretty bad but if you put effort into this it when you're doing it it will look trust me it will look good okay <coughs> just but as I've said before in a previous video, you're gonna have to trust me. Because I say trust me a lot. Don't know why I put on the weird accent. 
I'm sorry. I just realised it looks like he's got like six fingers. Never mind. I'm gonna carry on anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. Obviously, then we're gonna get the white to blend as we did the first time. This is practically like the same thing that we did for the face. Just like this. Right, I'm going to slow down a bit because I'm not exactly putting effort into this, which I should be. Because if I'm doing it for you guys, I should be putting effort in. So we're going to obviously go and use each. I think the majority of the hand is actually going to be colour. Yeah, he's used. Yeah, so we're going to colour the whole thing in. <laughs> um, yeah. So like this. He's going to go like this. I'm going to colour like this. He's going to go like this. Yeah. He's just going to go round and round and round. Sorry. Excuse the um, horrible, dreadful, miserable... Fireworks! It's Guy Fawkes night. No, no, that was yesterday. Anyway. Also, if you're in America, um, you're probably thinking, what the fuck? What is wrong with her accent? And may I just tell you, one, sorry for swearing, I just realised I did that. Um, <laughs> and two, yeah, I am English. I live. It, oh my god, yes, here's my chance to speak a partially German. Um, ich wohne in Chesham, das ist in Südost England, in the Nerch von London. <laughs> Use Google Translate to find out what I said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speaking of that, I'm so happy I got 12 out of 12 on my German test. Yay! Thank you, Anna. Making me revise, even though I didn't want to. Because <laughs> I like German. I like German, but I don't like learning German. Oh, that finger doesn't look very healthy, does it? It's not. That's not a healthy finger. Fingers shouldn't look like that. They just shouldn't. It's not healthy to be looking like that. It's not. Just not. If your finger looks like that, please go to first aid. Don't think it's normal, just go to first aid please, before your finger falls off, or your bone goes stab someone. So I would think if your finger was like that, there'd be a bone sticking out somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, excuse my terrible commentating. Yeah. Well the hand turned out crap, um, from what I've done, it looks more like a, um, well, you know, a luminous yellow radioactive person, death hand of death, more than a hand. But eh, <laughs> eh who cares? Nobody, <laughs> nobody gives a damn. Oh my god, well, I nearly killed my little sister the other day. I'm gonna draw you this, obviously, smaller, but um, she's then. I just finished it, what did she go and do? Spill a bottle of yoghurt over the drawing. You'd expect that from a baby, if it was a baby, would be like, oh, for God's sake, I love you. No, how old is she? Nine years old, yay. Oh my God, it was so annoying. Yeah. Grey doesn't have these fingers, okay? Grey doesn't have these type of fingers. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Add you add. Don't do that. Mind my um terrible, terrible. Everything's terrible and death and emails. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. Where did the red go? Just give me a second. Oh, there it is. He's got by my feet. I'm just gonna go over the darkish areas a bit again, just a bit darker in the red, so that way he so looks less illuminous orange and more manga. Yay, manga colouring! 
and then and then yeah so now he's red looks like he's cut open all his fingers i don't care oh. my singing just that that's some cut off eyes singing i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sorry 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 well I've ruined the hands. Don't copy what I did for the hands. Please don't. Even though nobody watched this video. <laughs> um, yeah, just don't copy what I've done with the hands. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going to try a feeble attempt to try and dole that out. Yes, it's working. It's working. Yes. It's working. Okay, that looks okay. They looks okay. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> At school, I've only got told off by a teacher. So I got this song stuck in my head. And I was singing in the middle of class. I'm going to take you to a gay bar. <laughs> and my teacher looked at me as if I was mental. It was actually quite funny. All my friends were laughing. And then all the popular people were like... What is that unpopular person doing? And then I was like, I don't care. Anyway, am I going to hurry up this video? It's obviously like 25 billion trillion years long. Um, so what we're going to do this next bit. Uh, that's it. I've decided to outline the hand to make it look less devilish and more human. Don't outline until I've finished outlining the hand because it might not actually look that good. So please don't copy me until I've done this. Because if it looks bad, that's where your drawing don't look bad. And you don't have to start all over again. Da 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 da. Um. Yay. Then we're going to do this. Yeah, it's outlined bushy fingers. <laughs> fingers from Satan himself. Also, if you want to, you don't have to. Comment your um, zodiac sign below. I am the Capricorn. L Satan. Lucifer itself. Behold. Um, yeah. Just don't mind my weirdness. It might be a bit overwhelming. But just. If you're gonna watch these videos, you might have to get used to it. Um, yeah. Oh my god, it looks like he has seven fingers. Six. Bad fur. I'm sorry. There's a French song that's stuck in my head. It wasn't actually a French song, but it's a song our friend, my French teacher showed us. It's like, Je vais, tu vas, il va, il va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, ils vont. It was so funny, I swear. And then now it's stuck in everybody's head. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny though, because the class next to us, we could hear it. Basically, was doing a test, but we could hear them start playing the song through the wall, and everyone in the class just starts mumbling that. <laughs> Shit like that. Anyway, um, why am I going over that? Um. I'm just thinking whether to do this in pencil, like proper pencil or grey pencil. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, Jesus! Just realised that the whole bloody paper's out of the way. I'm sorry. This is really unprofessional of me. Um. So we're probably going to use. Just go over this a bit harder, maybe bit later and um plus it's a bit darker and then we're gonna go over this lightly in the shadowed areas like so like this and a bit like that and a bit like that and then capiche you've got your names how am i doing this this these bits aren't even of shading eh who cares <laughs> um yeah who does care Go around the rim here, bit like this, bit by the corner here, and um, yeah, 
I think we're going to leave it at that. I didn't do much explaining. I got carried away with chatting at the, at the last few bits. Uh, um, I did the hand, obviously, the same way I did that. Try not to copy exactly what I've done here because, you know, it kind of turns up a bit bad. Um, obviously, then the page overall. Um, and then we did the scarf, which I tried to do at the beginning. All grey, then do the black linings at the end. And then um, this bit down here, basically do the same. Just go a bit darker where the lines are. Um... Yeah, a bit dark where the lines are, and then you kind of do like a little triangle kind of thing there. Then yeah, that is the part three, one to three, finished tutorial of how to draw grey full buster. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.